there was nothing I could do. I, I would have drove right into that tornado had they have not blocked me. It's an experience Melinda Maynard still plays over in her mind. These pictures show the moments her trip home to Madison took a frightening turn on I-65 last Monday night as traffic came to a halt at exit 267 outside of Fultondale. What she couldn't see was an EF3 tornado packing 150 mile an hour winds crossing right in front of the multiple big rig truckers blocking her path. One of the guys jumped out and it's storming and you couldn't really see anything and he says it's a tornado and we're blocking you. I lost cell phone service. I was terrified. I mean, I really thought I'm not going to get to talk to my kids. Like, I, I'm not going to get to talk to my family. Like, this is it. Maynard, a mother of three, had just wrapped up a visit with her sister in Orange Beach hours earlier. The twister would go on to kill one person, injure dozens of others, and cause massive damage in the Fultondale area of Jefferson County. But it makes you really stop and think about, like, your life. Somebody lost their son. People lost, a lot of people lost their homes. Maynard says after sitting there for nearly an hour, the road was cleared and traffic began moving again. She didn't get a chance to speak to her protectors. But if she could, I would just say, you know, thank you so much that you were there right beside me. You don't know how much comfort you brought me just being there. I believe those are my eight angels and they don't know it, but they were.